My name is Paula La Guevara. I Today's my last day in Santa Monica and I've been reflecting it a lot. I had two days for myself and um, I was able to really come together with a lot of things. And one of the things that just came to my mind is how, you know, just right now being surrounded with so much beauty and um, you know, feeling so inspired, having taken the time for myself to really evaluate almost as if the end of the year, uh, you know, within myself and looking back at not just this year, but, you know, just a few years back and only a few years back when I really started my, um, my deep uh, awakening. And I realized how, how I have been using and abusing my beauty. I have been using my beauty as an excuse to avoid my life. So what I used to do is, you know, to uh, feel bad about myself, not liking what I saw in the mirror, always worrying about my butt is too big, my boobs are too small, my hair is this, my lips are that. Uh, you know, there was always something there and it was, I, I felt like I was obsessed, obsessed with something that, you know, it was never enough. Whether I dieted, whether I didn't, nothing was ever enough. And I know you've heard this many times. I know you hear and read in every single fitness magazine or beauty magazine. And, you know, they, why do they keep saying the same thing over and over and over? Because we as women keep obsessing over and over and over. And today I want to bring a different twist to this equation because I feel like I was avoiding my life. So I was utilizing beauty as an excuse to, abo to avoid what was available. And why was I doing that? Well, I was doing that because I thought in my mind that, um, that I couldn't get what I wanted. I thought in my mind that that was for other people. I thought in my mind that people like me, you know, coming from Argentina, and not even, just like in, in general, me, I used that story, but I'm sure you have yours. What are you using in your life to avoid living and enjoying your life? So what happened a few years back when I really started noticing that it was possible, that I could do it, and little by little I started walking and I started moving forward and choosing what I wanted, my desires, and getting clearer and clearer on what I wanted. And it started with a little thing that I wanted, and then another thing that I wanted, and then it started building my confidence in how I could, I, I could really um, be and, and, and concrete my desires. Then it's when I stopped worrying about beauty. So I told you in a few videos back that I was in a funk. And that funk, what I noticed I went straight into was my body. So what I felt was, it was like I was connected to that. I was connected to, uh, oh, this is wrong, then my hips are too big, and I started doing the same thing that I tend to do, and I know it's because I lost focus on my purpose. I lost focus on my desires. And uh, thank goodness I have amazing mentors in my life, and one of my adoring mentors, Gina, she uh, she put me back into alignment. She's like, what do you want? Ask for what you want. And I took these two days to really come together. And it is, e it is easy because we think that we should know it, but sometimes it's really hard to see it within yourself. That's why having a mentor, some having someone in your life who supports you around this is huge. And that was a big lesson for me because this is what I do with my clients. And yet, of course, you know, within myself, um, you know, as you move into new levels and new levels, there's always a new level. And I want to invite you today to really take a look in your life. If you're feeling like that, if you're feeling that funk, if you're feeling like, oh, like I don't know what to do, funky and, you know, like not knowing and, and, and you see, if you're like me, you will go straight to attacking your body. I want you to really get clear on what is it that you desire, and then see how you can make it happen. You can make every desire happen for you. That is a statement, I testify for that, I've seen many, many people around me do that, it is a fact. So now, you have to choose to believe that. But I really wanna invite you to not use beauty 
as a way of distracting yourself from the real purpose, the real purpose of being you, for, of being you, your own beauty in the world. So I'm really, I'm really inspired and I really want to show you because it's just gorgeous, this amazing sunset. Yeah, beauty's all around us and it's time for you to step up and to really trust yourself in your desires and your beauty. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye for now.